Vinjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Narvasesha Shunyavadi Paschachadesha Tadine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaevacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadarhat Sri Vasa Degor Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading Brihad Bhagavatam Rita and we're on the first part and the first chapter of the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. Okay, so uh, do you remember where did we finish? Yes, it's nine. Uh, today we sh you should begin with the text nineteen. Nineteen. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right, so Jaimini is speaking and he's telling about how Maharaj Parikshit was approached by his mother to speak what the essence of what Sukadeva Goswami had told him. Uh, uh, so Jaimini describes that Maharaj Parikshit felt affection, natural affection for his mother and answered her very respectfully. And he's very eager to recite, he's very eager to retell the wonderful things he had just heard from Sukadeva Goswami all about Lord Krishna. So hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam, it had given Maharaj Parikshit transcendental attraction for the spiritual sound vibration. So he was very willing to satisfy his mother's request that he describe the essence of what he heard. So according to his... Well, uh, uh, because, because of his enthusiasm to keep hearing and chanting the Bhagavatam, and then along, along with the affection for his mother, it made him more eager to speak. Mm, 
持续不断的在聆听和唱诵着圣典博加瓦谈，再加之他对母自己的母亲的深爱，所以他现在非常的愿意来讲述。So he's ready to give the essence of the Srimad Bhagavatam. 所以他就现在做好了准备，来把圣典博加瓦谈的核心和精华来陈述。So Maharaj Parikshit is also known as Vishnu Rata. Meaning one who was protected by Lord Vishnu, so he says to his mother, he said, "At a time like this, we should observe silence." Um, Parikshit Maharaj, he has a name called Vishnu Rata. Um, this Vishnu Rata's meaning is that he got the protection of Lord Krishna, so he now starts to talk about silence. He says, "Mother, mother, at this time, we should always keep silence." But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. I have to speak. But because your question is so delightful, it forces me. I'm impelled. To our Lord and Master, that is, of course, Lord Krishna. And by His mercy only, He has given you life, and He has given me also life. 嗯，借着他的大慈大悲，他给了我新生。So his compassionate mercy is the cause of the, all of his pure devotees to to give that nectar of Srimad Bhagavatam. 嗯，因为主的这种怜悯、悲悯的嗯本性，所以就呃使得。就是他的纯粹的奉献者来讲述了这个部圣典博加瓦谈。Yeah, the best of the devotees, the greatest of the sages, they have approved this, this, the Srimad Bhagavatam, because it's full of confidential truth. 最优秀的奉献者，就奉献者，呃，和最伟大的圣人们。他们都赞许了这部书籍，这部《圣典不加瓦谈》，它充满了精密的真理。So please listen very carefully as I faithfully repeat it to you. 现在，请您专注的聆听，我将一五一十的把它重复给您。So we should understand that the Vedas, and in the Vedas we have the the Shruti. And the Shruti are the, that's directly the four Vedas, and then there's the supplements to the Vedas, which are the the Smriti. So this this is the different parts of the literature, Vedic literature. Veda Kinn 呢，嗯，它分为不同的部分，一部分呢是直接的是四部韦达经，被称之为书体，也还加还有还加上这个韦达经的补充文献，也就称为 Smriti。So most, for the most part, these books they 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 give more about how human beings can get more material progress. 那么这些书籍大部分内容呢，是指导人类怎样来取得物质上的进步。And they rarely speak philosophically about the purpose of life. 他们很少提到，就是从哲学的角度提到人生的，嗯嗯，人生的目的。The the science of devotional service, <coughs> excuse me, the science of devotional service is confidential, and it's taught only in a few Vedic. <coughs> it's taught only in a few Vedic scriptures. Which are not very well known to the ordinary people. 有关于嗯奉献服务这门科学呢，嗯
呃，只是在很少的几部伟达文献当中所有所解释和提及，而且嗯，普通大众是很少对呃对这些都是并不所知道的。So, there, the, the, among these kind of texts, there are books like there's books like the Gopal Tapani Upanishad, the Narada Pancharatna, Garga Samhita, Vishnu Purana, Hari Vamsa. These books. 而在这些提及呃，这些这些罕见的提到奉献服务的这些经典呢，有 Gopal 呃 Tapani Upanishad 和 Narada Pancharatra、Garga Samhita、Vishnu Purana、Harivamsa 这样的书籍。And then there's also the Bhagavata, Srimad Bhagavat, the Mahapurana。嗯，最后呢，还有 Bhagavat、Maha。So Parikshit Maharaj is going to tell his mother what is the teachings of the Srimad Bhagavatam. 接下来 ，Parikshit Maharaj 就要对他的母亲讲述《圣典薄伽瓦谈》这部书的内容。And that Srimad Bhagavatam, that is actually the cream of the Vedic scriptures because it teaches about pure devotional service. 圣典薄伽瓦谭被称之为伟大文献的奶油，因为它教导了纯粹的奉爱。So these scriptures are very rich in spiritual knowledge. 这些经典，嗯，在灵性的呃灵性的知识方面是非常非常富有灵性的知识。And they have the potency which will give us. Which will awaken in us renunciation and devotion. They also have the ability to awaken our spiritual knowledge and devotion. So, the, and the essence of these these scriptures, it is nectar. It is like a heavenly, it's like a, a drink from the heavenly planets that gives immort immortality. 那么他们的这经典的核心呢，嗯，精华就好像是，呃，嗯 ，Amrita 就是好像是来自天堂的一种天堂的饮品，它能使人不朽。Just like when the demigods and the demons churned the milk ocean, all kinds of very valuable treasures came. 正如半神人和恶魔们共同搅拌牛奶之羊的时候，产出了各式各样的价值连城的宝物。So Maharaj Parikshit had spent seven days. The seven days which he had left to live, he spent it preparing for death by hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam from Sukadeva Goswami. Maharaj Parikshit. 嗯，花了七天的时间，就在他离开这个躯体之前，来联系不断的从 Shukdev Goswami 那里聆听了《圣典薄伽瓦谈》。嗯 ，But we should understand the Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, is the Srimad Bhagavatam teaches about devotion. 圣典薄伽瓦谭教导了人们有关于奉爱。And and the, the conclusion of the scriptures is it comes during the discussion between the Sukadeva Goswami and Maharaj Parikshit. 这部经典的结论是在 Parikshit Maharaj 和 Sukadeva Goswami 讨论的过程当中所得出来的。So Uttara. Who is the mother of Maharaj Parikshit? She wants to hear the essence of this scripture. Ma Maharaj Parikshit's mother, who is Uttara, Uttara, she wants to hear this holy scripture. So the Srimad Bhagavatam is written in Sanskrit. 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 Original text and in the explanation, nothing in Srimad Bhagavatam is superfluous or unnecessary. 
嗯，这部由施克德勾萨米讲述的《圣典伯加瓦谈》是非常美丽的。嗯，然后这个《伯加瓦谈》的内容没有没有哪个内容是呃多余的，没不必要的。Right, and we can quote from the Srimad Bhagavatam the third verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam, which describes that. The Srimad Bhagavatam is the mature fruit of the desire tree of Vedic literature. Oh, 接下来的这个诗节是引述的圣典伯加瓦谈的第一章的诗节三。他说，呃，圣典伯加瓦谈是维达文献的，呃，如愿树上的成熟果实。So this fruit has become more enjoyable because uh, this fruit has become. Has become even more enjoyable, even though it was already tasted by the liberated souls. Ah, 这部呃是呃，而这个成熟果实变得更加美味，即便它已经被嗯解脱的灵魂所品尝过了。So Sukadeva Gos Goswami. He testifies to this fact from his own experience. Sutta Goswami 就从自己的经验当中就证实了这个这条真理 But other devotees they may feel inclined, they may feel better to listen to some parts of the Bhagavatam more than others. 但是，嗯，有些奉献者。呃，会宁愿呃聆听圣典伯加的某伯加瓦谈的某一部分，更甚于去聆听其他的部分。But there may be special devotees who have developed a taste for that nectar, and they feel they don't feel, they don't and and they don't feel attraction for hearing anything other than Srimad Bhagavatam. Whether it's the beginning or the end. Mm. Uh, so, sorry, I didn't catch the meaning of this. Okay. Uh, there are some devotees, Vaishnavas, who are very special, and they have a unique taste, and they want to relish the Srimad Bhagavatam. 有一些特殊的外，有一些特殊的 v a i s h n a v a 他们呃，对于圣典博加瓦谈发展出了独一无二的品味。They don't have a taste for hearing anything else but the Srimad Bhagavatam. 除了圣典博加瓦谈之外，他们就没有兴趣来聆听其他的圣典，没没有兴趣聆听其他的。And even beginners in the process of devotional service, they no longer want to hear about Jnana Yoga and the path of impersonalism. Ah,、uh, 甚至是初习者，他们也对于灵，就是 Jnana Yoga、思辨瑜伽以及非人格主义的呃解脱，也不感兴趣了。And Some people who are trying for liberation, just like some some Gyanis yogis, they are trying for liberation. So when they are trying for liberation, they have no more interest in material development or in ma enjoying material life. 呃、uh, ，就正如那些呃 Gyanis 修行思辨瑜伽的那些寻求解脱的人们。他们已经对于物质的生活不不再感兴趣。So every discussion in Srimad Bhagavatam glorifies Lord Krishna. 圣典伯加瓦谈当中的每一项讨论的内内容都是在荣耀 Krishna. But some devotees think that some parts of the Bhagavatam they don't directly describe. The intimate glories of Krishna, and they think that's not so important. Uh, 
圣典波迦瓦谈》有的部分并没有描述主 Krishna 的非常亲密的荣耀。嗯。So the devo- those devotees who are self-realized, we have to allow. Their preference, we allow them. Okay, you don't like to hear this part. Okay, don't hear. But we are just neophyte devotees, and we should not imitate them. We need to hear all of the Srimad Bhagavatam. We shouldn't imitate self-realized devotees. So because we still have some faults, we have to strictly follow the instruction of Srimad Bhagavatam. And we have to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam from the beginning to the end. And if we hear it very systematically from the beginning, along with all the explanations, the commentaries, then the devotees will gradually. Become qualified to taste the nectar hidden in the Bhagavatam. 嗯，倘若我们也以这种系统的方式，从始至终的来研习《圣典博迦瓦谈》，并且加上他他对《圣典博迦瓦谈》的解释，那这样的话，我们就有资格来品味到在《圣典博迦瓦谈》当中隐藏着的甘露。So great devotees like Sukadeva Goswami and Narada Muni and other Vaishnavas, up to their standard, they all, they all give a part. They all help in the, this message of the Brihad Bhagavatamrita. Like Sukadeva Goswami, Narada, and other Vaishnavas, they all in this. 这部《大补加瓦谈甘露》这本书的成书的过程当中，做出了自己的贡献。And it's also approved by great sages like Parashara Muni and Vyasadeva. 也得到了像 Parashara Muni 和 Vyasadeva 的赞许。So the Srimad Bhagavatam presents the message of the absolute truth very clearly. 所以圣典博加瓦谈。Other books, maybe, maybe te- have many mantras and teach about yoga, but their message of the absolute truth is always very vague. Other books, maybe, maybe, have many mantras and teach about yoga, but their message of the absolute truth is always very vague. Other books, maybe, maybe, have many mantras and teach about yoga, but their message of the absolute truth is always very vague. Other books, maybe, maybe, have many mantras and teach about yoga, but their message of the absolute truth is always very And it may even, sometimes the books are not honest because they're not authorized teachings. 并且这样的书籍呢，他们是不不诚实的，因为他们的教导并没有权威性。So it pre- the the Shrimad Bhagavatam presents the absolute truth in a very thorough manner. 因此，整部《圣典博迦瓦谈》是一种。呃，透彻的、全面的方式呈现了绝对、绝对的真理。There are others, unqualified writers, unqualified authors, and they're not able to reveal it in a proper manner. 而其他的那些没有资格的嗯作者们，嗯，他们他们的呈现。是不真实的一种方式，不诚实的方式。They don't have much to say, and they, and what they do when they what they do say does not have much value. 嗯，他们其实是无话可说的，而即便他们说了一些话的，那么这些话也是没有什么价值可言。
and their 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 writing their presentation is is done in a manner that, that they're afraid of losing the attention of their readers. But this essence of the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is the ultimate summary of Vedic knowledge. All right, so we'll go ahead now. Jaimini is describing. Once there was a group of great sages who were at Prayag, which is the best of pilgrimage sites during the month of Mark. Yeah, Prayag means the place where the Ganges meets the Yamuna. It's a very holy place. Prayag is Yamuna and the month of Mag means January, February, mid January to mid February. Uh, so it's usually at that time when they have the Kumbha Mela, which is once every 12 years, and it brings millions of people to come to that place to take bath. So the sages had taken their bath in the Ganga and Yamuna and they were happily seated in front of the deity of Madhava. And they were all feeling very satisfied. They felt as if all their goals in life had been satisfied. And they were praising each other. And they were saying to each other, you got the mercy of Lord Krishna. You've received Krishna's mercy. So these devotees, these sages at Prayag, they were humble devotees and they didn't like to be praised themselves. They, they praised others. So they could appreciate each other's good qualities and they could honestly say to the other person, you are the best devotee, you are the dearest devotee of the Lord. And he says, when Vaishnavas, uh, we should understand, when the Vaishnavas are friendly to one another like this, then their community prospers. It, this is a very important point to be understood. Appreciating each other and that creates such a nice atmosphere and attracts many people. Because 
So Prayag is the, it's the chief of holy places because it's right at the point where the Ganges and the Yamuna meet. Prayag is the chief of the Holy and it's the most auspicious time is that month of Mark, which is January, February. That's the most auspicious time to go and bathe there. And there's a verse which is given by an incarnation of the Lord known as Datatreya. And he explains that Lord Madhava is not as pleased by vows or charity or austere penances as by ones simply taking a bath in the month of March. 这首诗节是由人格守神的一个化身叫达塔吹亚所讲述的这个诗节的意思是至尊主妈的吧妈的嗯对至尊主妈的吧取悦至尊主妈的吧的方法并不是通过誓言不施 so Madhava, Lord Sri Madhava is the deity, the presiding deity at this holy place at Prayag Tirtha. So after they'd taken their bath, of course, very cold at that time, they, they'd taken their bath, they'd gone there into the water and taken their bath, and then they'd come out and they were, went to the deity, then they were sitting in front of Madhava, and they were feeling very fortunate to be together in such a holy place. At such an auspicious time. 当然，在那个时候，在河中沐浴是非常寒冷刺骨的。但是在河中沐浴之后，圣者们就从河中出来，然后坐在了主妈的瓦的面前。他们感到非常的幸运，能够彼此以这种方式。so this deity of Madhava, this is the same deity we went to see when we were there at the at the, this holy place at Prayagraj. When we were at the Prayagraj, we went to see also the deity of Madhava. We saw that deity. It's still there today, being worshipped. 那么他们所坐在的这尊神像是妈的吧也就至今仍然在那个是 we're going to hear the story which takes place there, what happened there. So it describes uh, uh, Maharaj Pariksha speaking to his mother and he tells her, at that time a first-class brahmana arrived at that holy site. That holy site is Dash Ashwamedha Tirtha. 接下来我们来听聆听下面一部发生的事情 
Dasha Ashwamedha is a place where ten Ashwamedha sacrifices were performed. So that was the place where Lord Chaitanya instructed Sanatana Goswami. Oh no, Rupa Goswami was instructed at Dasha Ashwamedha Ghat. It was Rupa Goswami took instruction at Prayag from Lord Chaitanya for ten days. Rupa Goswami yeah, there's a temple there, just at the side of the Ganges, and Lord Chaitanya stayed there and taught Rupa Goswami for ten days. So the Brahmana, this Brahmana came to this place, he was fully absorbed in devotional service to the Lord. He was a very, very first class Brahmana. He had all good qualities and he was the leader of that region. And he had different, many people who were with him, accompanying him, and he was going, to, he was getting ready to distribute food to all the local brahmanas. He collected all kinds of different valuable items for worshipping the Lord. And he, this Brahmana is very generous. He's going to give all these things away in charity to the Brahmanas. But first of all, he has to do preliminary things and he purified a large area on the ground. And then he built a very beautiful, very quickly, he built a very nice altar and he, he, he used mud with his own hands to cover, to cover with a canopy. And he used mud with his own hands to build the altar and then he covered the whole thing with a canopy. So we don't know the name of that Brahmana, but we know that he was the leader of that region. And he come to do public worship of Lord Krishna there. And materially, he was very rich and influential. And he had, uh, he was, he, if he wanted, he could lead a comfortable life. But he was a very surrendered devotee, and everything he had, he used for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. And 
And by his service, he was able to satisfy Krishna and everyone else. Okay. So then, next thing he did was he placed Lord Krishna's form at the as this Lord Krishna, he brought Lord Krishna's form in the form of a shaligram shila, and he placed it on the that throne. He'd made this golden throne, and he put the shaligram shila on the altar with great devotion. And he worshipped the, the Lord with great devotion and did all the different rituals. Shalagram Shila is a very sacred stone which is only worshipped by the Brahmana Vaishnavas as a deity form of Lord Vishnu. And these stones they only come from one place, they come from a place called the Gandaki River which is way up in the Himalayas. And there's a village just near this, the river, its name is Shalagram. The name of the village is Shalagram. And there's many different stones, they're different types, and they're all different incarnations of different forms of Lord Vishnu. And they all have special markings. And expert Brahmanas, they can recognize what Shila is, which incarnation it is. So then the Brahmana was in front of the altar and he placed food and clothes and made offerings, other offerings. And he made it like a festival. Although he was he he was only one man, he would dance and sing and play music. So when you worship the deity, we should understand how to properly honor the Lord. Just like a, a guest will come to your home, so you have to greet them properly. First, you wash their feet with special fragrant water. And then there's so many other items of etiquette, things you're supposed to do when guests come. Especially should feed the deity very nicely and offer gifts of cloth and 
different oils and incense and perfume. And you offer, of course, we also offer lamps like key lamps in the Arctic ceremony, and that represents the light that we would want to show at the entrance of our house for a guest coming. Just like a, when a guest is coming, you want to put the light on, let them see where they're coming. And then the Brahmana who's doing the worship, then he also offered, made special offerings to the Brahmanas who were watching, who were present. And these, these Brahmanas, they were all expert in arguing and debating about the Vedas and the Puranas and different scriptures. And he offered, then he offered respects to all the sannyasis and to the grihastas and the brahmacharis. And then he honored the Vaishnavas who always like to enjoy the glorifying Lord Krishna. So in this way, this, the Brahmana was encouraging all these respectable people by nice words and nice behavior. And he took the water which had washed the feet of all these people and he placed it on his own head. And then he worshipped all of those people who were present watching. He worshipped them with the food and the other items which he'd offered to the Supreme Lord. So we should understand there's different type, types of devotees and brahmanas. One class of brahmana, they like to show their, their knowledge by arguing and defeating others. But there are other brahmanas who are like devotees. And they prefer just to use their energy to hear and chant about Krishna. And some of the devotees, they're brahmanas by birth and, and by their behavior. But you can have pure devotees 
from any position. They may not have been born in a Brahmana family, they can come from any position in society. So these, these people, even though they're by birth, they may not have a good birth, but if they've become devotees, then they're better situated spiritually than any of these brahmanas by birth. So pure devotees, they won't waste their time debating with people or arguing with people unless it can be for the advancement of Krishna consciousness. Or they may, they may engage in arguing with others if there's some criticism of devotees or criticism of the Supreme Lord. Or another reason why they might have to argue with people is to to protect them from misunderstandings. Anyway, the Brahmana who was doing this festival, who was doing all of this worship, he honored all the Vaishnavas and all the Brahmanas with very uh, kind and encouraging words and with respectable behavior like bowing to them and washing their feet and offering them arti. And then, with great respect, he fed everyone else, including even the very low position, low outcast people of very low birth. He would feed everyone. And he was careful to satisfy even the dogs and the jackals and the birds and the insects. Hmm. So, look, sudras and lower than sudras, they're, they're, they're usually considered to be fallen in the social position. And people who are very poor and hungry, they're also considered to be fallen or wretched. But we should understand the actual standard of a person being fallen or in a wretched condition is when he has a lack of devotion. 
to the Supreme Lord. 但是我们应当理解，真正的对一个人是否是堕落的来评判他的标准是看他是他是缺是否是缺乏对至尊主的奉爱之情。Lord Chaitanya taught us amanena manadena kirtani yasa dahari that we should offer all respect to others and not to be anxious for any respect for ourselves. Chu Chaitanya said, Bashim Bui, the Dissantiao Jiao Dao Shu, Woman Ying Dang, Dui Chitaran Chi, Chen Bu, the Jing Yi, or Book Wang Chitaran Sun Jung Chi. So if somebody worships the Lord, by doing sankirtan, by doing chanting of the holy name and sankirtan, and he, at, at that time he should also not demand respect for himself, but he must give respect to others. So if we do like that, then we will be able to worship the Supreme Lord continually. But at the same time, the respect, when we say offer respect to everyone, it should be appropriate to each person. Just like if there's a hungry tiger, we won't embrace it like a brother. So if, if a devotee is trying to become Krishna conscious, he should keep a distance from pe people who are not of good character and who have no faith. So after the Brahmana had satisfied all the people present, then the, the holy men who were there, they, to, they told him that he should take the remnants of the sacrifice. And they told him, and he did so, the Brahmana did that, along with his family and all of the followers, then they enjoyed the prasadam, and they were very happy to enjoy the prasadam. So only after everybody in the in the whole area had been fed and was satisfied, then only then the host and his family and his servants, only then they took Lord Madhava's prasad. 就是在这个地区之内的每一个人都，每个人都吃过，都吃过饭之后，心满意足的吃过之后，这位布拉曼娜和他的家人仆人们一起才坐下来，荣耀主妈达巴的菩萨的祭语。Yeah, this prasadam is actually it's it's the nectar of eternal life. It's very good to taste it, and it, because it was offered to Lord Krishna, it's, it's, there's no karma, it's completely pure, it's prasadam. It's 
So then the Brahmana came before his Shalagram Shila, which is a deity of Lord Krishna, and he folded his hands and offered to the Lord all the pious credit he had earned by this sacrifice. Right. When we make the offering, in fact, just like this, a sacrifice, so the, they chant mantras, and the mantras will say that. Uh, Everything which was offered belongs to the deity. Yeah, the mantra will say, this is for Indra. It is not mine anymore. This is for Indra. But sometimes, often we find that when people, they may be reciting that mantra, but actually they still have the desire to own that property, to own that thing which they're offering. Although they're saying this belongs to Indra, they're still thinking it's actually theirs. So they not only offer they they want to they still want to enjoy the fruit of the sacrifice. So it means their devotion was not actually pure, because pure devotion is when we make the offering only for the pleasure of the Supreme, without any of our own attachment. So then the leader of the Brahmanas, he put his Shaligram Shila comfortably to rest and he got ready to go home. Uh, but Narada Muni, <coughs> Narada Muni had been watching and, he, and he'd been watching from a distance and he'd seen everything which happens. So at that time, Narada Muni stood up to speak to the Brahmana. Narada Muni Okay, so we will, it's a good place to start. And we'll ask, is there any questions this week? Peter Zhenzhu 
就是就是在这个放光当中的这个灵魂，是不是跟当光是同等的？Obeisance to Guru and Shila Prabhupada.、Uh, there are three levels to realize the supreme Brahman.、Uh, one is Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. The supreme Lord is eternal, and Brahman Jyoti is also eternal. And、um, the question is that the individual soul. Is it the same the、uh, the same eternal position as the Brahma Brahman Brahma Jyoti Brahman? No. 不不不是的 Because the eternal soul doesn't is his eternal position is not in the Brahma Jyoti. But his eternal position is with Krishna in the spiritual planets. 虽然灵魂是永恒的，但他的永恒的地位不在梵光之中，而是他的永恒地位应该是永恒的和至尊主 Krishna 在 Krishna 的永恒星球上。So if you simply stay in the Brahma Jyoti, then You won't stay very happily there. You won't be happy there forever. If the body of the soul is only stuck in the material world, it will not be happy to stay in the material world. After some time, you will want to leave there, and then people who often go to the Brahma Jyoti, they come back to the material world. After a certain period of time. 这个各地灵魂就会离开梵光，就有这种先例，就去去梵光，已经上升到布拉曼，把周体梵光的各地灵魂，过一段时候又回到了物质世界了。嗯。Yeah, our constitutional position is in relation to Krishna. If you're in the Brahma Jyoti, there's no opportunity to do devotional service. 个体灵魂的永恒地位应当是和主 Krishna 在一起，在梵光之中呢是没有做奉爱服务的机会的。There's no activities there. 在梵光之中是不存在活动。There's only the feeling of oneness. 呃，他们在放光当中呢，就有那种合一的感受。There's no relationships. There's no variety. 呃，在呃，在这个放光当中，个体灵魂它没有任何关系，呃，也没有各种各样的多样性。Okay. Yes. Any other question there? Yeah, it's not much to ask questions on yet. 因为晚上的时候，你也可以回答问题，所以白天我没有说到更多的问题。No, we're supposed to have a class. You want an <coughs> association? Can it be any day? Sati, 我们我们可以跟你的你呃你的方式是，我们可以集合，什么时间不分人。Sweden, Bush, Bush, John Moore, can you? Can you? Ah, if you have your time, you can. Okay, wait a moment. This is going to be a bit long. Yes, I think it will be a bit long. Okay.
我等到等您时间方便的时候吧。OK， yeah。嗯，好，谢谢。So we'll finish here. 我们结束。嗯，好的，呃，热带贝亚有个问题。哦，行。点贝姑的莲花珠，呃，您刚才讲到有有有的人即使把东西给呃给天地阴主，也还是认为东西是自己的。那么我们知道一切是奎什纳的，那么是否
而跟风险者打交道是挺难的。嗯、uh, ，because we're 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 not so pure. That's the point. We're not we're not so pure. We're mixed devotees, and we do have the we do have the attachment. We're thinking, well, this is mine, my car. It's mine, my money. 嗯，因为我们不是纯粹奉献者，我们是混杂着的，有混杂的奉献者。呃，我们还有衣服，就认为这是我的，是属于我的，是我的车。嗯、mm -hmm. ，So we have to be careful, you know. We have to understand devotees are, you know, we're, they're not on that level of pure devotee, and they do have material attachments. So you have to be sensitive. To what we ask of people. 嗯，所以，呃，我们在交往过程当中，还是应该小心为妙，因为我们要知道，就是奉献者们，他们不全是纯粹的奉献者，仍然还有物质衣服。所以在我们开口开口做要求之前呢，应该敏感。那个 Radha Priya 马德基也说到了，就是有的奉献者自己买了乐器，自己又不会用，然后一直放在家里，也不愿意借给其他奉献者去学习服务，为什么？呃，也是这种情况吗？那么是我们不不要求他把这个器拿出来，还是，还是等他主动的要求他拿出来服务呢？ Some some devotees they bought. There's music instrument, but they don't know how to use them. And in that case, should we uh, ask them to provide the instrument or to let themselves volunteer to provide their instrument? Well, you can ask them and see how they respond. Uh, you can say. 然后你看一下他的做出什么样的反应。If they agree, if they're happy, if they don't mind, you. If you don't ask, then you never know. <laughs> They may never volunteer. So sometimes you do have to ask. 你你你可以提一下要求，看他们到底同意不同意，看他们是不是就是非常就是心甘情愿的。嗯，很高兴的，呃，不太在乎，因为如果你不提出来，不提主动提，他们可能永远不会主动愿意来提提供这乐器。Or sometimes you, sometimes you can just suggest that, oh, we need this. If if we we really need this instrument, oh, if we had this instrument, <laughs> you know, and in this way you can appeal to them indirectly without specifically asking them. 啊、uh, ，你可以旁敲侧击的建议跟他们说，哎呀，我们现在需要乐器，呃，然后你就可以就是以这种方式呢来恳求他们，不是直截了当的提出来，而是一种间接的方式来旁敲侧击一下。But we get this problem all the time. I sometimes I used to get it. I know there was there was this one devotee. He had a lot of books. And I'd be looking for this book, and I knew he had it. <laughs> and I tried to get the book, but he didn't like to give his books. You know, he wouldn't like to share his book with anybody even. Uh, uh, 我自己呢也有这种经历。我就是我特别想要一本书。我知道有的奉献者他拥有这个书，然然后这个是奉献者呢，他就特别不愿意分享他的书。So at that time he was a brahmachari. Later on he got married. <laughs> so some, you know, it's more common for grihastas. They're very uh, more attached sometimes. But sometimes we see even the brahmacharis and sannyasis are also attached. <laughs> 有的遵守生，或者是有的 sannyasi， 他们也是依附的。Yeah, sometimes I get attached, you know.
look difficult. Anyway, we have to try to gradually become detached from everything. Ultimately, we leave the world with nothing. When we go from this world, we can take nothing with us. So, so it's good to use everything for the service of Krishna while you have it. Because later on you may not have it. <laughs> Next life, you may not have that opportunity. Hmm. Yes, very good question. <laughs> Okay. Mara, can I ask a, a small question yes. regarding Baba Gita about par, uh, Paramatma? Uh -huh. The Paramatma is situated in everybody's heart, but in our testing, like in small testing, large testing, there are a lot of bacteria. Does the super soul also situate in the, the, the millions and billions of them? <laughs> Among all the bacteria, you mean? Yeah, yeah, bacteria, sorry. Well, you have to understand that the super soul is it's transcendental to all of these things. It's, and it, it's also spiritual, it's not physical, it's not gross, and it's finer than subtle, it's spiritual energy. Right? Yeah. yeah. So the, the oh. super soul is not going to be affected by these things. Okay. Mm. Okay. So we'll stop here today. Yeah. Well, Gansia, Guru Mani, Gimam Fani, Gansia Sati Jujar, Gansia Sauda Functions, Ling Ting, Woman Jufuni Man, Shanghai Kwila, Wisi Jin